Today I'm going to show you how to discover the secrets of the shroud and get the shroud bearer figurehead and shroud hunter I've reached. Alright, first things first, this is one of the more secret items, kind of like the mystery stuff. Presumably it'll be like the mystery stuff and won't go away, but it is a rather complicated system, so I'd recommend you watch the entire video before going out to get anything, as you might want to know what you're getting yourself into before you leave. Now, when Season 9 came out, Sea of Thieves changed a ton of stuff, including a bunch of environmental and other changes. One of these changes was they made shipwrecks no longer spawn at, like, the very edge of the map. Except for one particular wreck. If you ever happen to see a shipwreck near the edge of the map, it is, as far as I know, always a ship called the Shroud Bearer. Now, when you swim down into this wreck, if you go into the captain's quarters, you will find the captain's logbook on the bookshelf. It's not a treasure item, but you can read it. Now, you can only read the final entry, which essentially says that the ship, the Shroud Bearer, uh, was carrying precious cargo when they were suddenly attacked by this scary ship. And instead of trying to fight, they decided to just book it and then after days of running, they finally decided they need to try something different. So three of the crew members jumped over with their apparently highly valuable treasure. So those three crew members swam away with them and the captain drove the ship into the shroud to avoid the other crew discovering their deception. Now this on its own doesn't mean much, but it did spark the interest of some of the more lore and mystery inclined players. So after this, there was kind of a big search for what the heck this could mean and eventually players found these weird gems. Now, these things spawn on three particular islands. Moro's Peak Outpost, the Uncharted Island at K9, and Sailor's Bounty, which are all fairly far away. Now, how these gems work is when you log into the game, it will pick one of the three at random, and that one will spawn, which means you can go to it and pick it up. If you look at it, press the interact key, you'll pick it up. Now, there's no prompt for this, and there's no actual like way of tracking or notification or anything. Now, once you've picked up one, the next one in the sequence will spawn. Once you pick up that one, the final one in the sequence will spawn. Now, the sequence goes east to west, so Moro's Peak Outpost, K9, and then Sailor's Bounty. Now, unfortunately, if you are unlucky enough to get Sailor's Bounty as your starting island, it will loop. So Sailor's Bounty, Moro's Peak, and then K9. Now, here's where the gems are starting in sequence. So at Moro's Peak, you want to go to the Shipwreck of the Shroud Breaker, just walk up the mast here, and in the captain's quarters on this like broken wall bit, you will find the first of the shroud stones. Then, next in the sequence would be K9. Once you get there, dive in the middle of the island and swim into this cave here. Swim all the way through, and then eventually the roof will open up, swim up, and then run down this hallway, and you'll find the second shroud stone at the end, or first, or whatever. Then the final shroud stone is at Slice Bounty. In the slightly elevated island in the middle, there'll be a pit jump down there, and then run down this trapped corridor. Try not to step on the pressure plates, they will activate the traps. Run all the way through to the trap maker layer at the bottom, go into the little house thing, go up these stairs, and then jump on this like rope thing, and then jump up onto the broken roof. And over here, you will find the last shroud stone. Now remember, this may not be your last shroud stone, you might have to get this one first. Now, another important note about the shroud stones, they are session dependent. So if you pick up one, log out of the game, log in again, it'll start over. So you have to collect all three in one session without leaving. Now, if you're in a crew, how it essentially works is if one player in the crew picks it up, it'll count for everyone. But if a player joins after the first one has been collected, that one won't count. So if I was playing, collected the first stone, and then a friend joined me, and we collected the next two stones, I would be good, but they would have to go back and get the first one. Now, once all three Shroud Stones are collected, there's still another step. You need to go to the Pirate Legend hideout and go talk to Legendary Liz. There will be a new dialogue option with her to discuss the stones. She then offers to make you something legendary out of your findings. You give her the stones and she tells you to come back later, but that they remind her of something Gloria brought back. So this next part can technically be skipped if you know the clue, but you get the ivory. So it's kind of cool. So go into the Pirate Legend Allegiance 100 hideout, if you can, you might need a buddy to get it. Climb up this ladder, and then you'll find Gloria. Speak with Gloria, tell her Liz sent you, and she will tell you that you are on the track to discovering the secrets of the Shroud. Which, she's not allowed to tell us, but she does know them apparently. Uh, but she offers you a gift to help you on your journey. The Shroud Hunter Eye of Reach. Now, if we take a look at the Eye of Reach, you'll notice on the top here, there is this label. Now, this label actually has stumped for quite a while, but it is actually an icon on the map, specifically at G26, which is just inside the shroud on the bottom edge of the map. Now, this will be important in a second. Now, again, you don't need the Eye of Reach to progress as long as you know the G26 clue. So, 
Whether you have the eye of reach or not, the next step is to wait an in-game week, so two and a half hours. Once you've talked to Liz, your progress is saved, you don't have to worry about that, so log out, come back two hours or an in-game week later, go talk to Liz again, and ask how the process is going. If you ask her before this point, she just says it isn't ready yet, but she will now say she's completed the project and will award you with the Shroud Bearer figurehead. Now from the description of the figurehead and what Liz and Gloria have told us, we know the Shroud Stones, the three stones embedded in the figurehead, each have the power to absorb a small amount of the Shroud, allowing for short journeys through the Shroud. Now with this information and the information we got from the Eye of Reach, equip the figurehead on your ship and head to G26 on the map. And then just sail straight into the shroud. Give it a second, it'll do the normal everything turns red thing. But you will notice you're not taking damage. And if you just keep sailing, eventually you'll just suddenly be in this giant fog bank. Give it a second, make sure you don't crash, but there is a cliff that'll just kind of loom out of the fog in front of you. Park your ship there and follow the coast to this shipwreck. Now head into the shipwreck and on the balcony over here, you will find the secrets of the shroud, which reads, something about this journal feels wrong. As you open it, you feel as though you're being watched. The handwriting in the journal is familiar to you, but you can't recall whose it is. The path is open once more, but who shall follow? Who shall find me here? So many fell last it was open, the ghost, the beast, and the banshee. Who shall be next? I wonder, will they be more wary this time? Will they see through my deception? Or will the promise of knowledge blind them? I suppose it's already too late. Happy April Fools, guys. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's April Fools. And um, this guide is not real. All of the items in it, are fake i made them if you want to know how i made them in the next couple of weeks i will be releasing a video going over the entire process of making this video but um i'm sorry for all the new people this is a regular thing on my channel this is actually the fourth time i've done this there's gonna be a playlist on my channel now of all of them if you want to watch the other ones and see how much i've improved and i am curious did you see through my deception this time a lot of people knew last time i think fairly early on but i'm i'm really curious to know about this one so did i get you and yeah thank you for sticking around till after i revealed it most people do not do that so thanks if you have any questions uh you can leave them in the comments i'll try to answer them as soon as i can if you enjoyed this video if you would leave a like that'd be great uh or a dislike if you didn't like the video you can also do that it boosts it in the algorithm equally so yeah <laughs> And then if you wanted to consider subscribing, that would mean a lot. Or if you wanted to share the video and help me bamboozle more people, that would also be appreciated. I promise all my other guides are real. It's just the ones that have Morse code descriptions that are not. Those are my April Fool's videos. And uh, I don't put them in any of my playlists except the April Fool's playlist. So my playlists are safe too, except the April Fool's playlist. But the obtainable items one that's on your screen right now is, is safe. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. I promise my next guide will be a real one. Bye.